Hello everyone, this is Brianna Rutter, author of one of my most popular books, The Natural Hair Bible, and founder of HowToBlackHair.com. For these videos, I love to answer the questions that you all send me via email. So if you have any questions you would like for me to answer, check out the description box below for more information. This video is because of an email I received from Sherry. And Sherry emailed me saying that she relaxes her own hair and she switched between using a different type of relaxer or a different relaxer from a different brand. And she's noticing that her hair is dramatically thinning and breaking. She's really afraid. She doesn't want to lose her hair. So she needs some help as far as what she needs to do to get it back healthy. So my very first tip is that I suggest that you switch back to the relaxer that's been working. The thing is that depending on the type of relaxer you use, it's going to contain a higher level of sodium hydroxide or guanidine or different things like that. So these are straightening agents that's in the product that's the, um, the most active part or the most active ingredient in the product that actually straightens your hair. So if you're bouncing between brands and between strengths, you're going to get an adverse effect on your hair because it can cause thinning and things like that. Now my second tip is that when you do go back to your brand to make sure that you're using a milder version of the one you were using. I know that most um, things or most uh, relaxers are labeled like kitty relaxers, mild, super, and extra super strength. And you just need to use the lowest strength offered by your specific brand that you were using before. So that way you're not straightening your hair too much because whatever you were using is causing your hair to get thinner. So definitely switch back to the brand that you have been using from the beginning and make sure you're using the strength that is of the lowest strength within that brand. Now my last tip that I'm going to suggest is that when you have done this process on your hair, you cannot reverse the fact that you've thinned it because you've chemically changed the composition of your hair. So in order to make your hair look a little bit more voluminous, you can add some layers into your hair. If you know how to um, cut your hair into layers, you can go ahead and do that or you can go to someone who's licensed or someone who has the ability to do a great cut for you and have them add some layers into your hair. This won't dramatically thicken the appearance of your hair, but it will give your hair more movement as if it's thicker. You can have a blunt cut where all of the ends are at one point and it all goes down to a, to a straight line or to a um, even point, but this isn't going to make your hair look thicker, it's just gonna make your hair look blunt. So to give that illusion of thickness, you gotta get some layers added into your hair and you definitely have to switch back to the relaxer you originally started with. So I'm sorry to tell you, but if you're going to be chemically changing the structure of your hair to straighten it and it dramatically gets thin you're going to have to go back to a different relaxer and just try your best to allow your hair to grow in as thick as it used to be so i hope these tips have helped you and definitely be careful when you're doing this process because that's why i always suggest that everyone sees a licensed cosmetologist because when you are dealing with chemicals you can permanently damage your hair so leave this in the hands of someone who's been trained to do this service for you i hope all of my tips have helped if any of you have any questions or comments make sure to let me know and also, before any of you go, sign up to my email list so that way you can be automatically entered for giveaways that I do. And only there I update you with exclusive content. So until then, I will see you all in my very next video.